Even when I used to work out all the time? When I used to work out? Yeah, when I used to work out. I remember protein powder? Yeah, I used to have it. When I used to work out, I used to take protein powders. I myself, I jerk off at least twice a day. Wow. Once in the morning, right after I work out, and then once right after lunch. Well, let me tell you something, brother! Snort, 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 tell you, drip, snort, snort, I got the drip, go. We'll see how it goes tonight, here in Ranked. Now, for those who are here tonight, first of all, over 200 of you in climbing, thanks for being here. Please support fighting games. What I mean by that is, when I played Tekken, uh, Tekken 6, excuse me, when I played Street Fighter 6, alright? I had people coming out in droves to see me play fighting games again for the first time in ages. And it was well supported. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying maxing out every goal, every stream. But, you know, every time that I usually played Street Fighter 6, it did a decent crowd. You know, people doing super chats, memberships, and tips. A good variety of stuff. Um, and I hit a lot of goals, too. Usually, we at least hit, like, a tier 1 goal. Um, I was able to keep Street Fighter 6 consistently in my schedule for 7 months. Because people came out and supported those streams. Alright? I've been playing this game, and it seems like when I play it online, I get the support. Whenever I'm playing it offline, no. And I don't... I'm not surprised at that. All right. When I'm playing the story, eh, the story's okay. When I today, when I was playing Arcade Quest, trying to learn June, yeah, it's not the most fun thing. But at the same time, I need to take that time to learn the character. If I didn't, I would never be able to learn the combos and stuff to play tonight. Like that was critical that I did that. So, so to start, he says he needs support, and spoiler, he doesn't get much support. But the reason I cut it here is because again, he's not recognizing good business practices. He has all the information or data that he needs. He even recognizes and tells his audience he understands. He understands people don't like offline mode. He's not surprised by that. The story is boring to his audience, and learning characters is boring. And right at this point is where the frustrated teacher of the story is burning holes into their pupil's soul when they ask, and what does that tell you? To which the correct answer is, I shouldn't be practicing or doing story mode while streaming. I should be doing that off stream. But DSP doesn't do shit for his business off stream unless it's babysitting an upload, which requires him drinking gin and watching automated software upload his shit. Tonight, please support the stream in some way. However you can support the stream, but please, I hope that tonight we're going to get some support. Why? Well, I played this earlier today, and support was slow. Yesterday, I played Like a Dragon, and support was like dead slow. And it's like, dude, this is the week I needed to have a good rallying of support to help out with all the fake memberships, and it's actually been a slower week than the entire month of January. I'm not kidding. This has actually been the slowest week for support. What the hell happened? I dropped over $200 on new games, and it apparently isn't panning out. I probably would have done better if I just played Baldur's Gate all week. You're probably right, because to my knowledge, that's what your audience has been asking for. This clip in particular is reaching down into the bowel of scum that Phil tries to pretend he doesn't live in. Normally in a begment like this, we would hear about how I need to figure out how to increase my support because this obviously isn't working. Now, this is an attempted guilt trip to say you need to give me more money, but at least it had a minute amount of accountability with the I need to figure out part. But here, the guy just lets his entitled flag fly, saying, quote, This was the week I needed to have a good rallying of support. Quote, what the hell happened? And my favorite, of course. Quote, I dropped over $200 on new games. And Phil, no one gives a shit how much you spent. You actually say the answer to your problem at the end with, I probably would have done better if I play Baldur's Gate all week. Gee, Phil, if only there was some way to guarantee yourself more income. The fact you stupidly dumped 200 bucks into games isn't a reason to support you. Get off your high fucking horse and do what your supporters want you to do. And that's stupid. Baldur's Gate has been playing for over a month, you know? So, please, if you like the variety, if you like the content, please support it. They don't like it. If you keep doing it, they're not going to give you money. What do you think you should do in this situation, you dumb fuck? Alright? Fair enough. Please, tonight, anything that you should do is greatly appreciated. And, of course, I'm going to shout it out, but I have to do it between sets. All right? So I will do that. Uh, we actually start off tonight with a dollar tip from Slayer, who says a lot about Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Basically, let me go. I'm at Chapter 4, and I'm enjoying the game a lot. Did you read my comments I posted on your videos? Yes, I did. I've been enjoying your playthrough a lot. It's a shame support and engagement is low for these streams. I wish I could attend these streams for the game because I would engage in support when I was there. By the way, the girl who introduced you to Aloha is a YouTuber. Yeah, I know. We talked about it like four times. People brought it up for the last day. It was funny because literally no one brought it up when I was playing. 
but then in the video comments and then after the fact people told me that I guess she's some YouTuber and VTuber I, I never heard of her so okay so thank you Slayer for the first contribution of the night with the dollar tip <clears throat> okay and uh, I'm not really gonna dilly dally I think I'm just gonna jump right in because I want to get the most gameplay tonight as I can um and so it makes sense to just start that's the only contribution we got so far tonight so please guys support fighting games I like Tekken a lot I want to keep playing it and I would love to play it you know, to the capacity I play Street Fighter 6, but I can only do that if people will support the streams. Okay? So let's see how it goes tonight. Slayer, I'm glad that you're here tonight. Uh, as you know, typically when I try to play fighting games, uh, idiots come out, because they know that I basically can't take a look at the chat, and they try to be stupid about it, so thank you for being here to help out with that. Okay. I don't have a ton to say here. It's sad that Denthead Slayer gave Phil any support, because $0 streams are my absolute favorite. Also, Phil, you can say, if you like the stream, please support, but if they don't like the stream, there's a logical conclusion to what your supporters are likely not to do. Anyway, no, this video isn't done yet, because for the first time, y'all are getting a double feature. Snort Hogan not only got this Begment, but he snipped the Aftermath too, and to no one's surprise, support was... Well, let's just watch. Two vids, though, means two intros. Let's go. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm going to take a little break here before we continue. So here we go. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to stretch my legs. Again, I'm just going to say, since you guys seem to like fighting games, there's tons of you here. Please support the stream. And, you know, I don't know what else to say. I've now had two straight days that have been really slow support. It seems like people like the content. They're coming out for it and enjoying it. Um, so please support it if you can. All right? I've pre-listened to this, so I want you all to take a special note of what he's observing here. He's noticing the large amount of viewership he has, and he seems surprised? Frustrated or confused, perhaps, that he's not getting support. So remember, high viewership and no support equals surprised Phil. I don't know what else to say. That's my livelihood, man. You know, anything. Again, I don't want to sit here and talk about it all night. I don't. But it's weird that, you know, before the new releases came out, the support was better. And now that I'm playing two new releases that I spent a ton of money on, it's like all weekend has been almost slow. I had actually my best stream this weekend was freaking the React stream. Right? I mean, take a look. I got nine dollars in tips tonight for a stream with over six hundred people. And by the way, why do you think there's over six hundred people? Hmm? <laughs> this is why. <clears throat> it's like note to self. Do not wear my, my thicker pants when I play fighting games. I'm, I am, like, sweaty as shit in these pants, man. Ugh. I wouldn't be bro-side Phil if I didn't comment here. You're sweaty in the winter from playing a fighting game. Look, I hate Phil as much as the next guy, but unless you're EDP445 and have actually touched kids, I don't wish death on anyone. That being said, big ups to that being said, bring me on your podcast. Phil, for your own fucking good, you need to engage in some form of physical activity. You need to go for daily, not weekly, not monthly, but daily walks. You need to get back into strength training. If you were ever into strength training, your claims are questionable at best. And I don't mean because because you look like a man wearing a bodysuit, which you do look like a man wearing a bodysuit, but rather because your health is absolute garbage if you're pouring sweat playing a video game. Like, you need to invest in you a little, bud. All right, I'm just going to relax for a few minutes before we continue. I want to get catch my breath here. I'll chat with you guys for a few minutes if you want. <clears throat> Knox Foss, the reason there's 600 people is because there's probably about 300 people here to laugh and think that there's not going to be any contributions tonight. Now, granted, I cut about 45 seconds of chair host time, but what? It's been maybe four minutes since I told you to remember, and Phil said, We have all these people, and I don't know why they're not contributing. So, what happened here, Phil? Gin brain finally catch up and make you realize that half your viewers are definitely not going to support? This is what is so interesting to me about the guy. He can contradict his own statements within minutes of each other, but not care that it's a direct contradiction. He's like Rick James on Chappelle. Pell's show. Come on, man. How are we going to have 600 viewers and not have support? Come on, we got to have a little bit more sense than that. Yeah, I understand why we aren't getting support from 600 viewers. Half of them are trolls. Like, bro, you just said the opposite. That's what it is. They come to the stream when they see that I'm doing a fighting game or something that causes a lot of stress. Because number one, they want to see if I'm going to rage. And number two, they want to laugh if they think that it's a low support night. So that's why you see those numbers. It's very simple. 
No, to my knowledge, this is it. This is the this is fighting games for this year. We had Street Fighter 6 last year, Mortal Kombat 1 in the fall, which basically no one plays anymore, and now this, and I think that's it. So this is the major fighting game of this year. Oh, excuse me. Tony says, keep up Tekken, you're crushing it. I, I would love to keep playing Tekken, okay? I would. I like this game. You saw earlier today, I enjoyed beating the entire arcade quest mode in one go and it allowed, it allowed me to play with June in practice and learn what I've learned. And tonight, I'm having fun playing with her. I like this, but look at the stream. Again, I don't want to just have to play like two games that are the ones that everyone seems to support. I don't want to play Baldur's Gate 3 every day. I think that's boring. I like Baldur's Gate 3, but I don't want to fucking play Baldur's Gate 3 every day. I wanted to give it a break this week so we could do other games, new releases, right? God fucking damn it, Phil! Fine, then this isn't a business, Phil. It's a hobby, which means you need a fucking job. I don't want to have to play Baldur's Gate 3 all the time. Who the fuck asked you? Like I've said before, put on the monkey suit and dance for those who give you money. Not that I'm not going to play it. We're going to go back to it. You know what I mean? But it, it's frustrating that, oh, I want to do variety. I want to do something different. Nah, we're just going to wait for Baldur's Gate 3. It's like, fuck. No, I don't just, I just don't want to play that every day. I don't. I'm tired, you know, I get tired of playing the same thing every day. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I love it, though. It's the thing, like, I like the game, but I'm, I'm a variety guy. Like, if I played Tekken every day, I'd also be bored. So what I mean? That's why I like having alternation. But this is now, like, no exaggeration. Yesterday, it was completely dead during the Like a Dragon stream. Now, all day today with Tekken, it's been incredibly slow. What the hell happened? Oh, my God. I want to punch this man so bad. He says, quote... I want to do variety. I want to do something different. Nah, we're just going to wait for Baldur's 3. Like, fuck, I just don't want to play that every day. Look, I'm not putting on the hat again, but Phil, imagine you run a sandwich shop and your customers want the BLT. The BLT is all they want. They will overpay for the BLT. They just want the BLT. Hell, some of them want the BLT to make fun of them and, and give you bad press, but they'll still buy the BLT. Then you show up to work. You take down the BLT sign and you put up PB&J saying, I'm a variety sandwich maker. I don't just want to make BLTs. Like, this isn't even business 101. This is basic transactional socializations that's learned in kindergarten. If I let Susie borrow my purple marker, she says nice things to me. So I let Susie borrow my purple marker. Cause and effect. Fucking binary actions, Bill. How are you? No, no. No, I am calm. I am peace. Moving on. I don't, I don't get it. What changed this week because I started playing new releases? You started playing new releases? Oh my god. Oh my god. Because before then it was fine. I'm at a loss. So you're telling me when I was playing Resident Evil Zero and Baldur's Gate 3 that people want that and like that better than new releases. So should I just not play new releases? <laughs> should I skip them? You know? People are saying the game looks good, I'm doing good, and they want to see me continue to play, that's great, but that doesn't reflect in, you know, any kind of engagement or support right now. So I don't get it. You know, I am, I'm confused. Because I'm having a great time of learning these games and everything, seriously. <clears throat> I mean, here's here's the question. This is, this is honestly a question for all of you, all right? If you don't like the games I'm playing right now, then I need to know what you want me to play. I, this is a business as well as my hobby. So I'll play what you want. I was under the impression people wanted variety. I was being told by people outright, we're tired of Baldur's Gate. You've been playing it for over a month. We want variety. We can't wait for the new releases. So what's going on? I'm playing them, but where are the people, right? Where are these people that wanted them? <laughs> I gotta say, Phil, I do not believe you. I don't believe you've had a ton of people say they were tired of Baldur's Gate 3. I don't think anyone wanted you to quit Resident Evil Zero, but your fragile baby ego couldn't stand getting bodied by a boss and you rage quit it the people are again screaming with their wallets and phil sits there one thumb up his ass one finger in his nose asking well but guys what do you want me to play yeah well, i'm doing baldur's gate 3 tomorrow and as of next week baldur's gate is back as a daytime stream you know it's gonna be alternated likely with tekken because the night streams are gonna have to be like a dragon and probably some power world and stuff like that so i'm probably gonna be playing tekken daytime which means probably i'll take a character like training mode for like half an hour and, and mess around with combos and strategies and then go online with them after but i am i am very frustrated because did you see what happened earlier why did i play that devil gen this was my first matches ever with june like i'm a noob i'm just trying to get my bearings with this character and they put me against the devil gen that was twice my highest rank with king 
and that's just a waste of time. This is a guy who has like perfect execution. He's doing perfect spin kick, mix up, perfect, you know, uppercut, uppercut twice. It's like, dude, that's that's a pro level player. That's a guy that you know probably plays this uh, competitively, probably goes to tournaments and shit, right? So, I don't know, it's frustrating. I don't know why that happened. I'm hoping as I play with new characters, it doesn't keep doing that. That's gonna kill the game. If every single time that I play this game, I'm gonna end up playing, you know, high level people, even though it's the first time I'm playing with a character, that's gonna destroy the, the fun of the game. You know, with Street Fighter, keep in mind, with Street Fighter 6, it reset every time. So that way you could actually get placement matches and it would reset and, and do it well. It just, it kind of really frustrated me that, they, that it did that. Gasper Billy says, I feel like the matchmaking can't be perfect every time. It doesn't judge it off of Tekken prowess. I don't know. I mean, this, I'm a newbie to this. I, you know, I never really took Tekken seriously, so I don't know what it's judging. Is, is it off of your character rank? Is it off of your fighting prowess? What is it off of? I don't know. I really have no idea. Bloom Kit says, I don't like fighting games much, and I don't want to be spoiled by Yakuza. Well, I can't really help you there. You know, I am playing other stuff. We got Pal World, right? We got Baldur's Gate 3 coming back, so there will be more stuff, right? And now we've transitioned into talking about the game, planning to do single player shit when he learns a new character, and again, knowing that people hate that, followed by a supporter saying, hey, uh, my dude, this fighting game shit? <clears throat> this ain't it, chief. And Phil responds with a, well, I don't know what to tell you. Here's what that guy is going to tell you with his money. Here's zero dollars, because I don't like what you're doing. The rest of the video was talking about match types and how Street Fighter VI did it better. Nothing real commentary worthy, so yeah. That's the first double feature for you, and my very first aneurysm from the toxic regardedness that is DSP Gaming. Uh, double big ups to Snort Hogan for the clips. Thank you yet again. I'd be so fucked without you. And again, you, my viewers, are just awesome. Like, insanely awesome. Three days ago or something, I was like at 100 subs. This morning, I woke up to like 320. That is crazy amazing, and I love you all for it. I truly appreciate every view, like, comment, share, or anything else you do to help spread the word that I'm likely mentally deranged when it comes to Phil. Well, at least I'm having fun with it. Thank you all again. Until next time, swallows the goal for a troll. Lift heavy, eat clean. I should start doing reacts to C-SPAN. I mean, my audience hasn't asked for it, but I want to be a variety commentator.